burden, more and more guilt, and more and more sense of helplessness. It brings us this sense again and again, I have missed the bus. And therefore the whole life is spent only in this, but nobody cares to seek the oneness with Parmeshwara, Lagna. So there was one girl in Bombay, you know, this happened. So this, all the group was sitting and discussing, Parame Brahmani Opina Lagna. This girl started crying. Why are you crying now? You know, must some vivek must have taken place in her heart, right? I don't want to waste my life. I want to seek that truth. And suddenly, this girl said, I am feeling sorry because nobody wants to marry Parmeshwara. <laughs> you know, all girls wouldn't do this. I will marry him. <laughs> And then she married one of the boys in the same group. <laughs> hey, yeah, what, what is this? You are just changing your lollipops from one to another, 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 another. Sir, not these things. As much as you start becoming aware of the fact that what you truly demand, want, in life is this. Your equations with life will change. The way you look at relationships will change. The way you look at people around will change. Because something has really transformed in you. And this transformation was possible only because the Vivek got lit. The lamp of Viveka was lit. That what is Sukham, we say Satchet Sukham, Sarvastu, Chitvastu, Sukhavastu, is Parmesh. That what is anandam, that which is infinite, is the sukham, what is being sought by you. And therefore, Sri Krishna Bhagavan says that those who are endowed with the demonic wealth, they return back to the samsara in the lower forms of life without attaining me without gaining me, without seeing me. Which means one falls into the trap of suffering and suffering and suffering over again and again. If you have understood even this bit of what the Vedanta has begun with, what Sri Krishna has started, this is the song of the Lord. This is the song Sri Krishna is singing. And Sri Krishna is singing this song on the battlefield. Don't think that Sri Krishna is singing this song sitting under a banyan tree when the cows are grazing around and the gopis are dancing with chum chum and all that. No. Sri Krishna sings this song on the battlefield. And the music is that of the battle drums, conscious kettle drums, trumpets madness going around and here he sings and here that what he is saying that people who are endowed with this demonic qualities they count they, they return back they fall into this trap of suffering again and again again and again again and again but the moment you start understanding what you truly see that itself will change a lot of things for you. People are asking me that tell us some practical Vedanta. And for them practical Vedanta means how, how should I how should I live with my wife? How should I deal with my children? And I said, wake up. 
understand something and you will know how to live with your wife. She is your wife, you should know. I am not married. How am I going to advise you how should you be living with your wife? You have spent uh, those 20 years, 30 years with her. Maybe her parents also have not spent that many years. He won't also, your father-in-law also won't be able to advise you. You are asking me, come on. Change, change. The necessary change comes when something in you, this, this faculty of understanding opens up. This is called Vivek. This is called as Vivek. Let Vivek take the fourth forefront. Let it come into the forefront. Never ever disrespect Viveka. Do not disrespect Viveka. And you will, solutions will come to you. Because now you have the ability to solve the problems. Because ultimately the problem is the problem of suffering. There is no other problem. I will end this evening with one story. There was one man. He was extremely attached to his guru. For every problem that occurred in his life, he would run to his guru, asking him, give me a solution, tell me what to do. And every time the Guru would tell him some solution and he would follow it. One day the news came that this Guru is on the deathbed. This man went running to his teacher and he started wailing very loudly. The teacher said, I am yet not dead, what happened? <laughs> He said, but you are going to die. And if you die, who will give me solutions? Because my problems are not going to stop. I'm still married, he said. <laughs> problems don't stop. Problems keep coming. There is no end to the problems. Only a dead person does not have any problem. <laughs> don't look for a situation where you don't have problems. Problems is the signature of life. A dead man does not say, don't throw me into the fire, it is very hot. <laughs> In Kashi, one fellow went over there on that bridge to commit suicide. You know, at night time, it's very cold during the winter. Ganga is flowing down and that bridge is very tall, that railway thing. And this fellow went over there in the middle of the night. Nobody is there, not even a, a single dog goes around because it is very cold. This fellow is standing there the whole night. Next day morning somebody found him, what are you doing? He says, I am just waiting over here to commit suicide. Then why didn't you do it last night? He said the water is very cold. <laughs> a registered case. The water is very cold. Only a dead man does not have problem. As long as you are alive, problems are going to be there. And don't be afraid of problems. It is good that we have problems. Problem means you are still alive. Congratulate yourself. You are still alive. It is good. So this man came to the teacher saying that, what will I do? Because who will give me solutions? 
and the teacher said, Son, so many years you have been with me, serving me, listening to me. You have been asking me solutions for various problems. Why did you not ask me for a solution which is a solution to every problem? which is a solution to every problem. When a person like Viveka opens up and he starts understanding what he truly seeks, what he wants. Now your faculty of Viveka, the lock is open. And therefore, Upanishad says, Hidyate Ridayagranthi Hidyate Sarvasam Shayaha Chiyante Chasya Karmani Tasmin Drishke Paravare Hidyate Ridaya Granthi The knot of the heart is cut asunder. Ridaya Granthi Granthi means the knot. Something pains you right here in the heart, which you cannot show to anyone. Nobody understands what is it that truly is hurting you. You cannot say, this is the thing, this is the issue, it, it has been bothering me since my childhood. And even if you say that, the other person may not be even able to understand why is it hurting you so much. Ridaya Granthi Hidhyate is cut asunder. Vedanam. Chidhyate Sarva Samshaya. All the Samshayas, the doubts, are resolved. Problems are solved. Chiyante Chasya Karmani and the karmas which are responsible now to give him future births, etc., are all, all burnt. Chiyante Chasya Karmani, but when? Tasmin Drishte Paravare, when he sees that Paramasatya, Parameshwara. That's what I am referring to by the word Sukham. By the word Sukham. Know what you are truly seeking. Do not deceive yourself. And therefore that what helps you come closer to what your destination is, then is called as the Daivi Sapta that what you can now value, which will take you to your, your true destination. But those who do not have it, they are deprived of it. Not only that they are deprived, but they keep on deceiving themselves. If somebody else deceives you, it is a path, a sin. But when you deceive yourself, who can save you now? Self-deception is the worst. It is a pop, even bigger pop than deceiving someone else. Self-deception. And therefore, now that sukham which you see, which then is You are led to that. And that what leads to this is called as Daivi Sampat, the true form of Lakshmi. We will discuss this a little more when we meet tomorrow, when you are as hungry as today. <laughs> Shanti 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 Shankaram Shankaracharyam Keshavam Radharayam Sutra Bhashika Tauvanne Bhagavan